Hi, this is Amr Abdel Gawad, and today we're going to speak about curly toes. What are the objectives of this lecture? First, we'd like to explain the pathology in curly toes, and then we're going to uh, describe the management of children with curly toes. A good source that you can use to learn more in pediatric orthopedic is this book written by myself and Dr. Naga. So let's discuss the pathology in the clinical presentation of curly toe. Uh, curly toe is a relatively common condition. Uh, in most cases, it is bilateral. As you can see in this picture, this is an infant born with a curly toe bilaterally, uh, as you can see here and here. And this is a close-up picture for this uh, uh, foot. Um, it usually affects the third uh, uh, and or the fourth uh, toe. Um, the affected toe is in flexed position, uh, pointing medially. Uh, so it lies underneath the more medial uh, toe. Uh, with the nail of the affected toe hitting against the plantar surface of the more medial toe with mild external rotation. Uh, so it is common condition, um, usually bilaterally affect the third or the fourth toe. Uh, the affected toe is uh, plantar flexed, uh, lying underneath the more medial toe, uh, pointing medially, uh, which we sometimes call various position, with some external rotation. Uh, the pathology is most probably related to tight flexors of the toe, and, uh, and that will uh, be reflected when we speak about about the treatment. Most cases of curly toe are asymptomatic and they actually may improve spontaneously. Uh, you don't need to get an x-ray uh, for these children. Um, uh, sometimes the nail of the underlying toe of the curly toe may cut uh, the plantar surface of the oral overlying toe and this may cause a symptom for the child. So what is the treatment for curly toe? Most cases do not need treat, uh, treatment, as we have discussed, that um, most cases are asymptomatic and uh, sometimes they resolve by themselves. Uh, so no treatment uh, is needed in most cases and you can assure that to the family. However, if the child is having pain after walking uh, from the nail, uh, rubbing against the overlying toe, uh, uh, you can uh, start looking for a treatment for this case. The mild cases um, are treated with the stretching of the toes, um, which sometimes work in mild cases so you teach the family how to stretch the flexor tendon and um, if this is mild case it may respond however uh, most cases uh, if uh, it causes symptoms will uh, need orthopedic referral for surgical release so this is a kid, a four-year-old, um, with a curly fourth toe that is being causing symptoms by the nail hitting against the plantar surface here and having callosities from uh, uh, dorsiflexion of the third toe. Um, and if you see this deformity is uh, severe, so it cannot be corrected with uh, stretching exercises. Uh, so surgical release was done. In the surgical release, you can see here, we open a small incision, uh, got the long flexor tendon, and then we cut the flexor tendon. As soon as you cut the flexor tendon, you can see that the toes now are lying uh, aligned with the other toe. Uh, it's a small procedure, but it's uh, rarely needed. Thank you. All my videos are for educational purpose only. Please consult your doctor before any decision. Thank you.